this video is about a clinical case based scenario of a case of a pregnant girl with thalassemia major and her management a 20 year old girl with thalassemia major has been married for two years and has a positive pregnancy test her last menstrual flow was about two months ago the couple present to you and request further management how will you approach the management of this patient and what are the risks for mother and baby the thalassemic woman may have existing morbidity and continuing risk for blood-borne infections iron overload toxicities of iron chelation and bacterial infections the presence of iron overload on the major organs presents a significant risk to the mother due to the physiological stress of pregnancy. The first pregnancy in obstetrics is challenging due to higher risk of preeclampsia and eclampsia. For the patient, we start with a history of presenting complaints. First, take a complete history to determine risk factors. Review of systems which include urinary, ambulation, gastrointestinal, respiration and cardiac. Cardiac symptoms are extremely critical to understand and include chest pain, shortness of breath, palpitations, syncope, breathlessness on exertion, sitting down or lying down, dry cough or productive paroxysmal cough. It is also important to determine the history of the thalassemic treatment. How many blood transfusions is she getting per month? Has she ever had bone marrow transplant therapy and what was the result? Past medical history of diabetes, thyroid disorder, hypertension, current medications, allergies to any medications, the most recent lab investigations must be reviewed and other investigations requested. These include a complete blood picture with peripheral film, a hemoglobin electrophoresis to identify the levels of hemoglobin A, A2 and fetal hemoglobin, serum ferritin levels to measure the body's ability to store iron, serum transferrin levels to measure the level of iron transport protein, serum total iron binding capacity to measure the transferrin capacity for binding iron, serum iron levels to measure 90% of iron levels which are bound to transferrin and serum ferritin which is 10%. Serum creatinine and urea Liver function tests to evaluate the level of damage by iron deposition, oxidative stress and medications. Viral studies to identify the risk of hepatitis B, C and AIDS. Rubella status should also be identified. The patient should be reviewed by a cardiologist and basic Investigations include an electrocardiographic recording as well as an echocardiograph. Thyroid stimulating hormone levels, free thyroxine and T3 levels. Hemoglobin A1c with fasting and random blood sugars. A chest x-ray after shielding the abdomen. The husband should also be investigated to identify his status as far as thalassemia is concerned and also to find out his general health. It is important to review medication. The medication may have teratogenic properties and needs to be substituted or changed in the first and second trimester of pregnancy. 
start folic acid supplementation at the very start of pregnancy and it can be given in an increased dose stop desperioxamine and vitamin c the teratogenic effects of desperioxamine is not known however the drug should be avoided unless it is essential for maternal well-being stop angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors which have been known to produce kidney damage in the fetus especially when used in the second trimester therefore this drug should be changed as soon as woman is identified for pregnancy oral hypoglycemic agents should be converted to insulin and to glucophage stop bisphosphonates as they have an increased risk of abortion intrauterine growth restriction and preterm labor give calcium and vitamin d supplementation from the second trimester onwards what are the risks for a thalassemic pregnant woman pregnancy imposes physiological stress on the mother which includes increased circulating volume and increased liver metabolism if there is an, any underlying disease or dysfunction it will be exacerbated due to the risk of pregnancy and this includes the risk of complications of cardiac liver and kidney thalassemia also imposes many risks to the mother due to the continuous oxidative stress and the stress of medications and frequent blood transfusions mother has a higher risk of infections there is a higher risk for operative delivery and the mother has an increased risk of mortality during pregnancy or even even after delivery this risk is mainly associated with cardiac disease the fetus is also under stress due to oxidative stress and the risks associated with maternal disease and medications there is a higher risk of abortion preterm labor and intrauterine growth restrictions how will you manage the pregnancy pregnancy has to be managed by the obstetrician with consultations from physicians and especially the cardiologist this patient should be managed in a center where there is an availability for quick consultation with cardiologist as well as a backup services of cardiac care unit and intensive care unit there should also be a neonatal intensive care unit in case the baby has to be born prematurely the mother has to be strictly monitored at close intervals to identify risk and complications of pregnancy as well as thalassemia the baby has to be constantly monitored with ultrasound examinations done more frequently as compared to in a normal pregnancy and this is to identify any risk factors which emerge in the baby if intrauterine growth restriction is identified then these special investigations through ultrasound have to be ordered to identify if the baby is okay inside or has to be delivered urgently the decision to terminate the pregnancy should be made in consultation with the family and with all the specialists who are managing her condition as well as the neonatologist so the decision to terminate the pregnancy is extremely important for the well-being of the mother and the fetus with this we come to the end of the video if you have liked the video then please like subscribe share and comment press the bell icon for for receiving information about further videos thank you for watching goodbye